Welcome back everyone to another episode of our Grand Theft Auto Vice City walkthrough series and in today's episode we're going to be completing a few more missions here so let's go ahead and get inside the taxi. I think, oh you know what, whoops, I accidentally stole it from him. <laughs> That's okay, let's go and uh, we're going to start off here with the Cortez mission which should be down by the docks and I have a feeling it's going to be a pretty tricky mission so this game is really quick. It's going to be probably a short let's play. So, let's see. Let's go around the corner here. Yeah, I, I think he's located at pier number two down by the docks, if I remember correctly. But yeah, everyone, I've been really busy lately just recording a bunch of different videos for all of you to enjoy. Um, hopefully today I'll be able to complete these three missions. I'm going to try to do three missions per video. I can't believe how gorgeous Vice City looks too in this this updated remaster. All right, guys, let's go around the corner here. And yeah, this next mission is going to be a military-based mission. Um, I believe we have to steal the tank. It's going to be I think it's called Sir Yes Sir. Uh, I used to play this game a ton when I was a kid. I kind of have this whole game memorized. <laughs> let's see how well I do with this new definitive edition updates and stuff. Here we go. And yeah, so sit back, relax, and enjoy this next cutscene here at Pier Number Two with Cortez. Yes, was pleased. I would like to meet you again. Is that a good thing? Of course. Although I'm starting to think that Diaz was responsible for our unfortunate loss. What makes you say that? One does not wave accusations at a man like Diaz. I'm merely thinking out loud, no matter. I have a proposal that you could profit. I don't have time to run more errands, Cortez. I would have thought a man with such dangerous dates would be hungry for opportunities. Please, Tommy, at least hear me out. Go on. I have a buyer for a piece of military hardware that is being taken through town. Pick it up for me. And once you get it, I want you to call me immediately. Then... All right, guys, let's go and do this. Let's go and acquire the piece of military hardware. All right. And, yeah, so, I was going to stop and pick up some weapons, but you know what? I'm actually just going to wing it. I don't think we should need any weapons at all to take down these guys. Oh my gosh, my driving is terrible today. It's been over a week since I played this game, and the controls are just all over the place for me. Oh, wow. Alright, let's go over here to say out of all the games on this trilogy uh, this one to me it, it just looks the best I don't know why it's just the setting of Vice City and everything it's just really the colors pop okay let's do this guys let's go down here and wait should I now nah, I'm not gonna do it over there let's go and park over here by this ice cream place yeah, here we go. Let's go park right over here. And we're gonna wait for these guys. You know what? Let's just let's walk up here. I'm gonna see if I could just go in and steal this tank. It should be pretty quick. There's the good thing is, is there's health right over there too. So if I need some health I could just grab it. Alright, let's do this guys. I'm going to just walk up here and try to steal it. Civilian, move away from the tank! Convoy! Oh, wait, what? Get that civilian out of our way, soldier! Sir, yes, sir! I said, move away! Immediately! Okay, oh, gosh. Two, moving out! Well, let's see. I still can't steal it. Civilian, move away from the tank. Jesus. All right, guys. So we're gonna have to figure out a way to get this. I thought we could just walk up and take it. Civilian, move away from the tank. Go get some donuts, soldier. Sir, yes, sir. Con oh, nice. Oh. Here we go, we did it. Look at this. Alright, 
Alright guys, let's go over here. Yeah, we're gonna have to make this really quick, guys. Because whenever you hit a cough, uh, you'll instantly blow them up, so you gotta really be careful. Jeez, look at how amazing this is, guys. Okay, come on. Oh, shit. Perfect. And I think we did it, guys. Drive the tank into the garage. Just like that, the mission's complete. Damn. That was simple. Talk about easy. Mission pass, $2,000. Okay, so if you want to complete that mission really quickly, all you have to do is just wait for them to get the donuts. The soldiers. <laughs> this game is so goofy, I swear to God. Alright. Oh, look at this. She took me out. She kicked me out of my own domain. How does that happen? Man, the characters in this game run super fast. That's crazy. Okay, the next mission we're going to go and complete is the Avery mission on the map. I, th I think that's his name, Avery. Although I should probably pick up some guns because I have nothing in my inventory right now. And I think we are going to need some guns, that's for sure. Okay, let's go, guys. Let's go do this. Now, this car is terrible. Alright, let's go. Good old Starfish Island. And, yeah, it's kind of funny because uh, throughout this game, you'll notice all the characters will betray us. It was kind of all set up like that from the beginning, the get-go. Here we go, guys. Let's turn here. And I think the mission is right up here at the construction site. So enjoy the cutscene. Two bit hit. Tommy, this is Donald Love. Donald, this is Tommy Vercetti, the latest gunslinger to come to these parts. Now, Donald, you just shut up and listen, and you might learn something. Now, nothing brings down real estate prices quicker than a good old fashioned gang war. Except maybe a disaster like a biblical plague or something, but that may be going too far in this case. You getting this down, you four-eyed prick? Now, recently a gang lord died. You disguise yourself and head on down and crash the funeral. Mix it up and then hightail it. You getting this down, Donald? Well, that ought to put the coyote in the chicken coop, huh? And then we'll just sit back and watch the prices tumble. Alright, go get yourself some gang colors in Little Havana. Wait, hold on one second, guys. Let's see. I have no guns at all. That sucks. Yeah, because uh, I previously... I was playing this a little bit beforehand, before this recording session. And I actually died and lost all my weapons. So, that sucks. We're gonna have to go and purchase some new guns. Here we go. You'll get some gang colors. I think when you're in Little Havana, they're purple gang colors. Good thing is the store is right up here, too. Oh my gosh. This car sucks. Alright, Little Havana. Alright, good thing it's right around the corner. I'm definitely going to get a new car. I, I can't drive that thing. There we go. Take out the gang lord at Romeo's Funeral Parlor. And you know what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go on the map here and purchase some weapons. Is there any guns around? Oh, yeah, there's some over here. Is there any closer? Mm, I don't think so. No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, so first, before we do this, we're going to have to go here and uh, get some guns really quickly. 
gonna take this this one right here. I like how the flames shoot out of this. This is really cool. Look at that. That's so badass. Alright guys, and I'm gonna drive this way. Because first I have to pick up some weapons here. Good thing we have full body armor still. I'll probably end up buying the Mac as well as the pistol. And maybe the Kruger. One of my favorite weapons. I think they could have done a better job with the auto locking onto uh, enemies in this game. Because I don't know, it just seems a little off from the original. Let's go this way. There we go. Okay, 357. Oh, wow. These are all out of stock, really? Hmm, that's weird. Okay, guys, so I guess we're not going to get any weapons. We're going to have to go this way. We're going to have to go over here. We'll get some guns. Let's try this one. Hmm, that's weird. There we go. Okay, let's go back into our vehicle. Hey, at least we're getting a tour of the uh, town here. And how cool it looks. Alright, let's go guys. Let's do this. The one good thing about this game is the map is really tiny. So you can literally do a whole loop around here in less than, like, probably less than four minutes. Look at this. Alright, nice. We did it. Wait, is it inside the mall? Oh, you know what? I'm not going inside the mall. We're gonna go and find a different one here. I think it's... Yeah, let's go... Let's remove that waypoint. <clears throat> And, oh, jeez. I guess we're going to have to go into the mall, guys. This sucks. We're all over the place today. Let's make a quick stop here. Into North Point Mall. I'm going to try to purchase some uh, pistol ammo and some Mac ammo. I wish we could play that arcade machine, that'd be really cool. Come on, Tommy, get in the circle. You can do it. Uh, stubby shotgun, sniper rifle. You know what, I'm gonna buy the sniper rifle. Let's get this. As well as the Uzi. Some pistol, and let's get the shotgun, too. Alright, now we're talking. I think we should be good to exit. I never realized how fast uh, Tommy runs out of energy when he's running. Okay, back at vice point. Let's go and get ourselves a car. There we go. If I can, I'm going to try to just snipe this gang member. Hopefully it'll be easy enough. I don't want to keep failing these missions. That would suck. Okay, guys, let's go this way now. game's a lot more challenging than I thought it would be. <laughs> I know the last mission was pretty simple, but if you end up pissing off those military personnel, all the, the military members there, 
you'll definitely get mowed down pretty quickly. That's why you should just wait for them to get to that donut shop. Alright, sweet. Look at look how nice this city looks. It's so awesome. God, I love Vice City. Who knows, maybe I'll do a San Andreas Let's Play too. So far, so good. There we go. And looks like it's over here. Excellent, they've spotted you. I don't know how that's excellent, though. That's pretty bad that they spotted us. But let's see if we can run them over. Oh, shit. These guys are all after us now. Now we're talking. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we got those guys. Now let's go this way. And hopefully not get killed. Go back around these projects. I just don't know where these enemies are. Wait, let's see. Let's get let's get the sniper rifle. All right, now let's get out of here. You are as good as dead. <laughs> Take that, bastard. Okay, let's get out of here, guys. We did it. We got the mission completed. That's what we came here to do. Take out this gangster. Oh, man, this is not going to be good, though. Just go take the bridge. I think that'll be the best bet. Ooh. Yes, mission pass. Look at that, guys. 2,500. All right, Havana outfit delivered to the... Ooh, street. We got the streetwear there. Okay, so let's go and... I think I'm going to attempt the next mission. Ooh, jeez. I didn't want to do that. Killed a bunch of golfers there. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to Diaz now and see if we can complete his mission. And then that will do it for today's episode. Be a nice 25 minute episode or so. Although I think that I think this next mission is pretty tricky. It involves stealing a boat. Go circle back around, and we're gonna have to go back to Starfish Island to the main uh, Scarface style mansion. Some of the times, I, I really don't know how they got away with this, like in, in the game, because they literally just ripped off Scarface. <laughs> they did a great job with it, though. Okay, now we should be good. Let's get out of this stupid car. Oh gosh. Hey Leo, I got some work for you. This ain't Leo. 
Hey, if Leo knows you got his phone, he's gonna kill you. Maybe Leo's already dead. Maybe I killed Leo and took his phone. You ever think of that, prick? You kill Leo? You must have big cojones. Wanna work for me? Cut by my father's cafe in Leo Havana. And we'll talk mano y mano. All right. Oh, you know what? Let's go. Let's go talk to this guy real quick. I'm not gonna do this Diaz mission. I'm gonna save it for the next episode. Cause honest, honestly, that Diaz mission's really tricky. Let's go talk to this guy. Oh my god, <laughs> my driving is so terrible. We must have impressed someone, though. That's good. Let's see what this guy has to say. I can't hold you. Let's go and make a right around the corner here. And looks like this is it. Oh, stun bow challenge. See me? Hey, easy, puppy. This man's for me. You! You the boy? Oh yeah! You the boy! I think so, you know! No, I don't think I do. Oh yeah? You come here, tough guy! You think you'll take me on? You think you'll play stupid with me? No, I think you're playing plenty stupid enough for both of us. Hey, he call you dumb, son. And I call him a little girl, papi! Look at him! All dressed up like that! What is this? Ladies' night? You some kind of tough guy? You dress like a woman? You got on panties like a woman too, huh? What do you got against women? You prefer men, big boy? I like women. I like all women. I love my mother, Chico. All right, all right. I'll take your word for it. Relax. Can you drive, amigo? Yeah, like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. I like you, big boy. Maybe you can help. Maybe you can prove you're a man, huh? Take out the boat! Show me you got some big cojones! And not some little very chiquita ones! Alright. Looks like we have to do a stunt hey, challenge. You the man with the big cojones? Tommy Brissetti. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, man. Treat her like a woman. <laughs> this game is so goofy, I swear. All right, guys. So now we're gonna have to uh, drive through these boat, these rings here. This is this actually isn't too bad. Amigo, you're the man, man. There we go. Ooh, look at that epic jump. I'm sorry if you hear my dog barking in the background. Let's go over here. <laughs> Pretty simple mission. Call yourself a man, man. There we go. Oh, look at that. That was nice. I thought we we're gonna flip it over, though. Oh geez, that was not smooth at all. I actually thought I was gonna miss that one. Taking a trip through the Vice City canals. Look how beautiful this looks, guys. Reminds me of Florida. Well, technically, this is Florida. Mythical Vice City, Florida. <laughs> right, there we go. Not bad. You're a real man. Perfect. Almost done. Nice. 
Nice. That was dead on. I'm so glad I did this mission compared to that other one with Cortez. Cortez is probably one of my least favorite, or uh, with Diaz, I mean. I like you a lot. Anytime, man, because you got cojones, and all my friends, they got big cojones. All right, two more to go, guys. Let's do this. Better hurry up. And yes, we did it, guys. Perfect. You got big cojones, amigo. <laughs> I don't know why they keep talking about big cojones. <laughs> okay, mission pass. We got a thousand bucks. And I really hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. It was super action packed. We got three missions completed like I wanted to. And in the next video, we are going to complete three more. So thank you so much for watching today's GTA Vice City episode. Oh, wait. Not dead man, been chatting about you, my dear. Thought you might need something to make you feel better. So Auntie Pule make you some stew, eh? Come and check me kitchen sometime, okay, Tommy? Okay, looks like we got another one. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching today's episode, and stay tuned for more content coming soon.